So we back at it again on this NBA 2K21 My Player Builder. Now, before we get into today's build, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer, drop a like on the video, and also go sub to my second channel where you can find me playing IRL basketball. For some of y'all who don't know, I play professional basketball as well as doing content. So when I'm giving y'all these builds, I know what I'm talking about. I know how y'all like to be in the comments when I be making builds, but listen to me. I, I know, you know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of basketball, I know. So today's topic is James Harden. I call him Jesus Harden, but James Harden. So we're gonna go point guard, left-handed, number 13. Now, I used to think James Harden was 6'6", but he's 6'5". So, if James Harden was 6'6", I would've went with this pure playmaker pie chart. It's a lot of things you can do with that. But since he's not, since he is 6'5", we're going to go, what does this say? Here we go. Half playmaking, half shooting. You get Hall of Fame, on both. Only thing I don't like about it is the 64 drive and dunk. James Harden does drive and dunk. Sometimes he's not getting poster dunks a lot, but he does drive and dunk. He actually leads the league in free throws attempt at 12 free throws a game. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can go with this pie chart, but you're just not going to get the full. You're going to get as close to James Harden as possible. I'll put it like that. So James Harden is strong, but with this pie chart that we have of playmaking and shooting, the most strength you can get is 58, and you get a 54 vertical, but you lose a little bit on your speed, and playing point guard, you probably want to keep the speed. So we'll just pick pie chart number one and deal with the 46 strength. So we'll take close shot, drive and layup, drive and dunk. We'll max out mid-range, we'll max out three-pointer, we'll max out free throw, we'll max out pass accuracy, we'll max out ball handling. And then you want to touch defense just a little bit, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, and come back up here, stand and dunk. Six finishing. Uh, then this is where it gets tough. Harden doesn't really play defense. Now I know he has 1.8 steals a game, but he doesn't really play defense. He is averaging about six and a half, seven rebounds a game. But for the sake of playing NBA 2K and trying to create James Harden as best as possible, with these 13 remaining points. You can probably put some on playmaking, get you 22, and get you 22. So you can get 22, 22, yeah. You'll get 22, 22, and six. And then you'll get one defensive and rebounding badge. You probably can put this up, nope. You don't get no other defensive and rebounding badge with this. You don't even get another finishing badge, so. Doesn't really matter where you put this other five because you're not, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's gonna go up. You probably, mm. yeah, it don't matter where you put this other five really because nothing's really gonna go up at all. You're not gonna get an increase in anything and it sucks because like I said, James Harden can rebound the ball. He's just not, you know, a great defender. So I'll go six, 22, 22, and one. Uh, James Harden can be defined. He can be burly. He can be built. I kind of like burly for Harden. 6'5", like I said. Now, the only bad part about going 6'5", is that the ball handle drops to 84, so you can't speed boost out the gate. Now, Harden is 222, so this is up to you. Harden is like 222, 228. If you go 222, when you get to plus eight, you'll be at a 92 and a 91 speed and acceleration at 6'5". Or, you know, you can go, yeah. Even minimum wingspan isn't really that. I mean, not minimum wingspan, minimum, minimum weight isn't really that, you know what I'm saying, appealing. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe 200 so you don't lose nothing in speed and acceleration. So we'll go 200. Now wingspan, you, you can do this however you want to do this, honestly. So I'll tell you this. If you put this wingspan up two, 
you'll lose one on your ball handle. So I don't know if the speed thresholds are the same. I don't know if that's enough to speed boost off the gate. If it's not, then you'll have to wait until you hit 98 to speed boost on this build. Or you can go lowest, well shit, even lowest wingspan, you can't speed boost right off the bat. But you get a higher three point rating, so. Ah. Uh, I would, I would say one. I would say one before minimum wingspan, just so you can get the 93 point shot, which ended up being a 94, and then the 97 mid range shot. You speed boost at 96, or you may be able to speed boost now, based on the speed there. So we got to see if it's the same. So I'll do that. Minimum wingspan, playmaking takeover, of course, and we have a playmaking shot creator, Steve Nash, D'Angelo Russell, Jamal Murray. We don't pay attention to those. But this is James Harden. So let's talk about these badges real quick and how I would do this, you know what I'm saying, if I had this build. Put this at 99. Ah, let's see. We got six. So we can go Fancy Footwork Gold, Giant Slayer Gold. You'll get like an 84, 85 drop and layup and like a 80. I can't remember what the close shot was, but it's close enough. So this would be good for sure. Gold and gold on that. Shooting badges, you definitely want difficult shots, green machine, range extender, dead eye. Uh, if you really want to go real James Harden volume shooter. And like I said in a lot of my videos, I don't use Hot Zone Hunter, but if you are a person that use Hot Zone Hunter, then you know what I'm saying, feel free to use that. If you don't want to use volume shooter, you can use tireless shooter for dribbling purposes. Then you get here, of course you want to go Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Uh, unpluckable depending on how it is probably silver uh, ankle breaker Hall of Fame I don't know if space Curry is gonna be as good as it was last year but if it is you definitely can do that or if you want you can pick between space creator and ankle breaker that's up to you if you go Hall of Fame ankle breaker you can take this off for sure you can drop four on floor general uh, four on dimer if you want to uh shit you can go silver dimer silver needle threader it, it's a lot that you can do with 22 playmaking badges on this james harden build so you know what i'm saying it's really up to you how you want to make it and then like i said defense and rebounding we probably could have got more but like i said james harden isn't really a defender he rebounds and he gets steals but he's not sitting down like Kawhi leonard paul george ripping people on the dribble and things of that nature so this is how we'll round it out at 6, 22, 22, and 1 for the James Harden build. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. And like I said, make sure you go click these videos up here. Go check me out playing IRL basketball, man. There's some good content on that channel as well. Sub up over there. Drop some likes. Let me know you came from this channel. And yeah, I appreciate it. Y'all know the deal, man. I will catch y'all in my next one. Peace.